Hello Swapper Shoppers, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do stick around and subscribe. In the meantime, I fancied a bangers and mash, but I also wanted a Yorkshire pudding. It's a lot of effort to make it yourself, especially if you're only cooking for one person, which is myself currently. So I wondered whether or not it would be a good idea to find a ready meal. Now, usually I'd find ones that you pop in the microwave. They go a bit soggy, they're not really that great. So I found one that you pop in the oven, takes 31 minutes, but have a look what I've got. This is Chef Select Sausage and Mash Yorkshire Pudding. British pork sausages, mashed potato and peas served in a Yorkshire pudding with rich gravy. Oh, this looks good. And it's British pork. It's not Red Tractor approved, but we'll work with it. Just in case you eagle-eyed viewers have noticed, I actually have frozen this. This is now defrosted and it's going in the oven. Whether or not that changes the taste, we'll soon find out. Here is your nutritional information. This is a hefty portion. It's 638 calories. But look how big that Yorkshire pudding is. You get quite a lot of value for your money. This was £2.99, which I think for the size of it, it's pretty good value. You get 400 grams. Looking at the back of the packet, again, mashed potatoes and pork sausages in a Yorkshire pudding with peas and gravy. Here is your nutritional information for those who are watching their figures. I am currently not. Cooking instructions. We're going to put it on a fan oven. That's 180 degrees. We're going to put it on for 31 minutes. So the oven's all warmed up, so I'm just going to get this on. So it says to remove the packaging. And then apparently you need to stab it with a knife. So I'm just going to stab it a few times. This may be loud. Okay. This goes on for 31 minutes. Oh dear. So you pop it onto a baking sheet and apparently it goes straight in the oven. Here we go. Now eagle eyed viewers, you'll notice, yes, I am having this for lunch. So a lot of you have been putting food in the comments that I should try. They are going on my list, don't worry. I'm going to the supermarket soon and I'll get your suggestions. But I wanna hear more from you. What foods generally do you have day to day that I could potentially make into a ready meal? What could I batch cook that you could sling in the fridge or freezer that you can have whenever you fancy? And it's one of those meals that takes a lot of preparation and you can't be bothered to make it yourself because I wanna make life easy for you. So should be ready any second, just waiting for that all important beep. Hey, there we go. Right, let's get this food out of the oven. Let's have a look. Okay, can't smell anything so far. Let's have a closer look. So here's the food. So we've got a nice big dollop of mash. We've got two little chunky sausages. We've got our gravy with our peas inside this pretty hefty Yorkshire pudding. It's Quite a large Yorkshire pudding, actually, that, for your money. For £2.99, this looks pretty good so far. Let's try and eat it. So, as usual, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. I just think it's a given with any ready meal because usually they're so bland and flavourless that you need a little bit of flavour. But this looks pretty good value for money, actually. You've got a nice, decent portion. There's a fair bit of gravy inside it. it does look pretty good. Come take a look. So I'm just going to give you a much closer view. So now I've added a bit of salt and black pepper. It does actually look a lot more appetizing. So here is your thick sausages. These are your pork sausages. Here's your peas, your massive Yorkshire pudding, of course. Get it in focus. And your big dollop of mashed potato. Overall, that is a pretty big portion. Here's the size of my hand for comparison. It's pretty big. So let's try this. I am pretty excited for this. So you're gonna get my unfiltered reaction. Right, let's try the sausages first. Uh, they smell disgusting. Oh dear. I may regret my decision with this. Okay, let's give them a try. Hmm. Okay, they're very bland. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not keen on them at all. They're very bland, no flavor into them. I feel like they need a lot of seasoning in that. Okay, so, so far it's a letdown on the sausages, which is quite a critical, important part of this meal. 
Now let's try the Yorkshire pudding. The Yorkshire pudding has been in the oven this time. If you remember on my last episode when there's a Yorkshire pudding, it was in the microwave and it went really soggy. This is a bit more crispy, so let's give it a try. Mm. Very doughy, very doughy. Oh, it's like the gravy's gone all gelatinous. Whoa, oh. whoa, oh. wow. I had high hopes for this meal. It may have lost a lot of its flavor whilst it was frozen, of course. Right, mashed potato. Surely you can't go wrong with mashed potato. It's literally just potatoes mashed. Let's try it. Oh. Oh my word. What have they put in that? It's like they put vinegar in it. What is that? What? This is not mashed potato. Did I read the packet right? Did you see the same thing as I did? It smells like mashed potato. It looks about like mashed potato. Oh, it's sour. Oh, no, thank you. Right, peas. Please be my saving grace, these peas. Come on. They're hard, like bullets. It has been defrosted fully, trust me, overnight. Oh, oh my word. Every single part of this is disgusting. Right, let me try a bit more of the Yorkshire pudding from the other side. Maybe it's just that side that went all gelatinous and disgusting. Maybe uh, this side is the saving grace. I don't hold up much hope. Right, oh my God, the gravy looks disgusting. It's like glue. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's like cardboard. How is it this awful? Wow, I didn't realize you could mess up a meal this bad. It might be easier if I come and show you. Right, let's just break down this slop. This gravy, I don't know if you can tell. Let me try and get my fork and show you. It's quite difficult to show, but you see there, I get that there's pieces of onion in it, right? So you can see the pieces of onion here, but it's so gelatinous. The Yorkshire pudding, no word of right, this is what the Yorkshire pudding looks like. This is, it doesn't even look like it was originally cooked before they actually made it into a ready meal. What is that? This mash is disgusting. Don't eat that. That is, it's so sour. I don't know if it's because of the cooking process or because I like froze it. Surely not. Surely it doesn't go sour. You'll be able to let me know in the comments. These sausages, I'm not even going to try and eat a bit more of this sausage. There is no flavour to them. You can see they've tried to put some kind of, I'm assuming it's black pepper inside of it. It is horrendous. Don't eat those sausages, honestly. I think they make you sick. The Yorkshire pudding, again, soggy, gelatinous, disgusting. The peas, the peas feel like they haven't even been cooked. Look, what is going on? Now, I'm not usually this fussy. As you've seen on some of my other videos, ready meals can be nice. They can be cheap and they can, can be quite surprising. This, no, avoid it at all costs. I know you think I'm being dramatic, but this is honestly some of the worst food I've tasted in 2023. Now, I hope that the remaining food that I've got in my freezer is much better than this. I've got a few little variety meals. This is horrendous. So to summarize, Sausages have no flavour. They're very chewy. The Yorkshire pudding is slop. Tastes like cardboard. The peas are like bullets. Don't eat them. They haven't even been cooked, clearly. The gravy is gelatinous mess. The onions are onions. The mash is sour and disgusting. It tastes just like, obviously, the instant mash, which I actually like instant mash, but that is a whole nother level. Do not eat that. Overall, I give that a miss. Do not eat that. $2.99, what a waste of money. Remember, I'm eating these, so you guys don't have to. Do not buy this. This is the little option. This is Chef Select Sausage Mash Yorkshire Pudding Mixture. Do not eat this. Don't feed it to your dog. Do you know what the main annoyance now is? I've got to find something else for my lunch. So, I think I'm going to go out and treat myself. Maybe to a Greg's or something nice. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this food review, please do hit subscribe and like comment down below. It helps the channel tremendously and I really appreciate all of your support. 
If you would like to see a different video where I actually enjoyed the meal, please check out this video. You'll be pleasantly surprised. But in the meantime, swap a shopper out. Ciao.